and the new Miss America is. Miss Arkansas. Savvy Shield. And after impressing the judges with her responses to questions about the presidential election, not to mention her jazz dance to a song from the TV show Smash, Savvy Shields, representing Arkansas, beat out 52 contestants to be crowned Miss America on Sunday. And Miss America joins us now on set. Congratulations, oh, thank you so much for having Savvy. me. I never get tired of watching that. I'm sure. <laughs> How do you feel now? It's still so recent. I, it is so recent. It feels like a whirlwind. I'm just so thankful. Are you it's still riding a on a cloud? Absolutely. Oh, it's been just the most wonderful ride. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it hasn't stopped. Oh, it's so great. Where is the name? The Savvy is such a cute name. Where does oh, that Oh, thank come you. From? It happened whenever I was around two years old. My real name is Savannah. And so it happened whenever I was two. Someone called me Savvy. And it's just stuck ever since. It's adorable. Well, thank you. Well, let's get to the pageant. What was the hardest part for you? What was the most challenging? Oh, most challenging, I think, I mean, <laughs> they always call it survival of the fittest. <laughs> yeah. Because you're, you're there for a long time doing rehearsals and doing interviews and competing, and you get very little sleep, and you're emotionally exhausted. And so it, it's, I think it's just, a, you know, it's Getting a long day. It. it seems Absolutely. like a blood sport to me. I mean, my <laughs> goodness, I would just be sweating bullets. But how long oh, have, you been, have you been doing pageants, and I did. how much work goes into right. it? Right, well, I mean, it's... This sounds hilarious, but it's kind of like a lifestyle. I mean, I started doing pageants when I was 13 years old, and I was Miss Arkansas's Outstanding Teen in 2009, and that's when I knew I wanted to be Miss Arkansas, and I knew that I wanted to hopefully someday compete to be Miss America. And so, and it's how kind much of when the dream practice started. goes into it? I mean, how many hours a day oh, did you well, put I into Well, I mean, it? <laughs> I mean, it's a lifestyle, so you have to, you know, eat right and work out and dance daily. But I mean, thankfully, that's stuff that I was already doing, and so yes. a lot of my life didn't really change. But it's mostly, you know, the practicing on well, learning how to walk how to present yourself in a professional manner, which is why I love the Miss America organization so much, is that it pushes young women to be better versions of themselves right. to get onto scholarships and, and to go further on in their careers. Now, speaking of the dancing, which you brought up, yeah. I read somewhere that it's your secret desire to be a backup dancer oh in a Beyonce gosh, video. I'm trying to tell that everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully she hears me. Bay may but, be watching. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> it, it is. I think it's every dancer's dream. I mean, Would you like to be a professional dancer? I mean, that would be fantastic, but I also, I mean, I just love art. I'm you going, study art at the yes, University of Arkansas, Yes, and correct? because of the Miss America organization, I can now graduate college debt-free because of the scholarships uh, partially provided by Joseph Verbkoff, and I'll get to go knowing that I'm graduating college not having to worry about That's it. That's fantastic. It's absolutely wonderful. What sort of art do you study, and what would you like to do after graduation? I emphasize in painting and drawing. And so I love doing those and kind of combining with my love for dance as well. I mean, after college, hopefully I'll get to work in a museum and maybe teach at a collegiate level. But the dream of the dream is right. to be able to create and Fantastic. commission my own work. Creating is a great, great dream. Now, of course, you also yeah. scored points with the judges with your answers about the political candidates oh, running was, for president. Mm -hmm. We have a soundbite. We're going to roll it. Oh, no. If you're trying to be leader of the free world, everything you say and do matters, and all of your actions are held to a higher standard. And unfortunately, the media does love to sensationalize everything, and it's hard to tell what is truth and what is truly scandal. I think going back of what my previous contestant said, both of these contestants have done a great job, or both of these <laughs> candidates have done a great job in competing, but they also need to watch what they're doing. And, and 20 seconds. Good job. Thank you. We're done. So are you following <gasps> the race closely? And what would you like to see more of in politics? Mm. Compromise. I mean, our country is founded on compromise. And it feels like, and it seems like the two parties are at this point where they're just yelling at each other. And I would hope to see that we start rewarding politicians on compromising. We need to have long, meaningful discussions about the complicated issues that are happening in our country for the longevity of the health of our nation. So have you decided who you're voting for in November? <laughs> or you can't say? Um, uh, <laughs> you're gonna keep I'm it Miss America. The great thing about being Miss America is that I'm a voice for all. Right. And that I get to be a voice and represent every single opinion, which right. is something I'm very blessed and very fortunate I get to do. Absolutely. Now, we know this uh, this season, Miss America had its first openly gay contestant, mm -hmm, yeah. Miss Missouri. Did you get to spend any time? Oh, yeah. I mean, with we're with each other 24-8. Right, right. We were with each other all the time, and it was so much fun. And we were talking about it the whole time, about how it, I mean, it doesn't matter to us. She was right. just one of my sisters. That's and so we all wanted to meet her girlfriend, and we wanted to hear more about her life, and it didn't change the fact. That's so great. Now, Absolutely. what would you say, there are critics of beauty pageants and, mm -hmm. you know, Miss America and all of them that say, you know, today's day and age, do we really need these sort of pageants for mm. women that stress looks over their achievements, even though achievements mm. are part of it. What would you say to that? 
I would say they need to meet a pageant girl. <laughs> I think they would meet a pageant girl and they would meet a girl who competes in the Miss America organization. And they will see that she is passionate about her platform. They will find that she hopefully learns how to interview well, that she, she can be, think on her feet, answer an on-stage question, that she has dedication for her talent, for her physical fitness, and for every aspect of her life. Because that's what the Miss America's orientation has taught me. Well, you are a great her. representative for well, the thank organization. You so much. Thank Tell you. us quickly about the, the crown. We're the crown so we have curious. right here. Can you just put it on for us for a second? I know. It won't stay. Oh, it will not stay. I know. But it is my most prized possession. You I carry it with you everywhere now? Everywhere I go. In and it is box? in this beautiful box. And there is a science to how it stays on my head. <laughs> so we're still trying to get it down. And it's but crystal? It is crystal, yes, ma'am. I love it more Beautiful. than anything in the world. I'm sure you do. <laughs> well, enjoy and congratulations I will. again. Thank you so much for Savvy. having me. So nice to meet you.